Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with another lock maintenance video. So here I have my hair in braids as I prefer to keep my hair during the extreme weather months. So that's winter and summer. I like to keep my hair in braids so that it's somewhat in a protective style, you know? But I still need to wash my hair regardless if they're in the braids. And it's okay, you can wash your hair in braids. And um, during this time I tend to deal with dandruff as my hair adjusts to the weather. So I'm using this anti-dandruff shampoo and I'm focusing on my scalp especially because I recently washed my locks so I don't really need to focus too much on my on my hair itself. This is really about my scalp which is my main priority around this time of year anyway. So I do one wash, I rinse it out and then I do another lather. And I make sure to get all up in there, um, especially because of the braids. It can be a little difficult to get your entire scalp, but I just like to be patient and take my time and work all up in through my scalp and through the braids. And it's okay if it gets a little bit fuzzy. That just comes with the territory. But I don't anticipate it getting too fuzzy because I had very neat braids to begin with. And I don't know what was going on in my head here but I feel like I'm channeling Blue Ivy. <laughs> Shout out to Kefele for doing these braids because he's part of the reason why my roots are gonna stay neat for a really long time and I like to squeeze the water out. I don't wring my locks because wringing locks causes weakness often. So I'm using this turban towel by Swirly Curly. I actually end up using two but I'll get to that but I wrap my hair in it it only my hair only fits in this towel once my hair is braided up or twisted up because once my hair is at its full length they just don't fit so I like when my hair is in braids because I get to use my swirly curly turban towel I believe the size is extra large or extra long and I'll have a link below if you want to get one for yourself it's really convenient it's a microfiber towel and I'm an affiliate so I will get a little cut FYI, so if you want to support, that's one way you can support me. But yes, I like to keep my hair in this towel for a while, for maybe about half an hour or so. And I like to just, you know, get my body together. And once I do that, I end up taking this towel off to put on another one. So I have another one, and that helps to really get the water out. You know, microfiber towels are really good at reducing frizz and collecting water so I want to collect as much water as I can especially because my hair is in braids you know I don't want to you know have any mildew although of course I will I will dry it with a with a blow dryer in a bit stay tuned but I want to get as much water out as possible especially with it being winter you know it's cold I don't want you know water on my head that could get you sick right is that a myth leave a comment below can you really get sick from having a wet head <laughs> Let me know below. So as I take my hair down, it's time for me to massage my scalp. And the oil of choice today is my Emu Oil Growth Drops. And I chose this over my horse cell leaf growth oil today just because, again, I'm dealing with some dandruff. And I find that the Emu Oil is a bit heavier than the horse tail. Just a bit. It's a bit heavier than the horse cell leaf growth oil. So I really feel like that's going to help to seal in more moisture into my scalp as I as I massage it in and the uh, emu oil growth drops are available on keishacharmaine.com of course as well as the horse tail leaf growth oil like I just mentioned all of my my products are listed on the shop definitely check them out and I highly recommend that you check out the satin lined hats the satin lined hats are perfect for winter because it's cold okay it's cold out here but you still want to protect your hair under your hats and the satin lining in the hats perfect for that you can really help to protect your your hairline as well as the rest of your head paying special attention to my hairline because you always want to keep a nice thick hairline right now I'm gonna reach for my love light and locks gel and that's what I'll be using to lay my hairline down a little bit a little bit of baby hair it's nothing crazy nothing major i just wanted to make it look like my hair is freshly done you know i don't want it to look like i had my braids and washed my braids like i wanted to look like i just came out of the salon and just got a fre some fresh braids 
and I bet you if I told you that I just came out the salon and had my hair braided, you would probably believe me. Now I'm using these strips on my hairline. This really helps to lay it nice and flat while absorbing some of the water. And I end up using about three of these strips to really reduce the frizz on top of my head. I really like using these, especially when I'm doing a bun and I'm doing a nice sleek bun. Like as I'm getting dressed and getting ready, I'll I'll put that on. Well, I'll put that on before I get dressed. And so when I take it off before it's time to go out, it's nice and smooth. Of course, you can use a scarf for that too, but sometimes you don't want to get your scarf um, you know, greasy and, and you don't want to get gel off on your scarf. So this is a good alternative so you're not dutting up your scarves. So now I'm going to put on my hood attachment, put my hair all up in the hood, secure it, and then I'll attach it to my handheld blow dryer. And I always lose track of time when it comes to how long it takes for me to dry my hair. I just dry it until I feel like it's good and ready. Especially when it comes to the winter, I don't need to dry it for too long because I tend to have a, a space heater going in my room. So I know for a fact that that absolutely helps my hair dry, the space heater. And that is pretty much it, y'all. I'm going to see how long I could keep these braids in. I really want to keep them in for as long as possible because that could just free me up. I'm having to do a lot to my hair and there's a lot of styles you can do with braids so if you want to see me uh, if you want to see me do some styles with these braids leave a comment below make sure that you follow me on instagram at keisha charmaine and make sure you hit subscribe here on youtube thank you so much for watching love light and locks thank you so much for making it to the end of this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe you can always visit www.keishacharmaine.com for hair growth products, hair accessories, and more. But don't leave just yet. Check out my featured video and my latest video.